So we've got most of our static UI components built. The only thing that we're left with is the homes around the world that's displayed at the bottom over here. This is what we're trying to achieve. We want homes around the world and then we want this particular component displaying two components in each line. We'll first create this component inside our explore.js and then we'll move it out to its own file. So inside our scroll view at the bottom, let's put in another view here. Let's give this view a margin top of 40. So that is nicely spaced from the top. Next, let's put in a text inside this. This will be the heading. So let's say homes around the world. And as you can see, we're getting the text there, but it doesn't look like the way it should. Let's style it by giving it a font size of 24, a font weight of 700, and a padding horizontal of 20. And that looks much better. Next, let's put in another view here. Again, let's just give this a padding horizontal of 20. And we'll also give it a margin top of 20. Let's start building our component now. So let's put in a view here. Let's style it by giving it a width equal to the width of the screen divided by two and a height equal to the width divided by two as well so that it becomes a nice square. Obviously we can't see anything right now because we have nothing inside it. So we want this view to be split into two parts just like our category component, one having the image and the other the details. So let's put in two views here again. Let's give them both a flex of one because we want both the views to be of the same size. And let's add an image to the top view. So we'll say image source is equal to, let's require the image from my assets folder. And we we'll use the home image that's there. When we save that out, we need to style this image. So we'll say a flex of one, a width of null and a height of null so that it takes up the whole space of the container and resize mode of cover. There, we're just fitting in nicely. Let's add a border to the parent view so that we can see the size of the box. So here, let's put a border width of 0.5 and a border color of the gray that we've been using. There we can see the border around our view. Now in our bottom half, let's put in the text. So we need three texts. One will be the type of the property. The second will be the name. The third one will be the price. And then we'll have a star rating at the bottom to indicate the rating of the place. So I'm just gonna pick up some names that are there in the app. So the first one is a private room with two beds. It's called the Cozy Palace. And the price is 82 US dollars per night. Let's give the type a font size of 12. Actually, let's give it 14. And let's give it a color, which is a dark red. Let's give the name a font size of 12 and a font weight of bold. And similarly for the price, we'll again give it a font size of 12. Let's add some styles of the parent component so that it looks better. We'll say align items to flex start and we'll justify content to space evenly to make sure that they take up all the place that's available. And we'll add a padding left of 10. Now we've almost completed this component. Before we add the star rating component here at the bottom, let's move this out into its separate file. So inside the components folder inside explore, I'll create a new file called home.js. Again, let's just import some boilerplate code here. Let's call this home. And let's copy this component there. Here we'll have to import image at the top. Then we'll have to correct this import of this image by putting in two extra levels. And also we need to pass in this width property by using props. So we'll say this.props.width. And here we'll say this.props.width. And coming to our explore tab, let's import home here. So we'll say import home from, go into the components folder, go into explore and home. Once we've got home, Let's put that in here and let's pass in the width that we need. So it's a width is equal to and we'll pass in width. So as you can see, we're still getting the component working and now we can easily reuse this component. So in our explore tab, let's duplicate this. And as you can see, we're not getting it the way we should. We wanted to come horizontally 
instead of vertically. So in the parent here, let's add a property flex direction and set that to row. Now we're getting them horizontally, but they're overflowing. We want to have a property called flex wrap, which is set to wrap. And also now you notice that even after setting that property, it's gone into the next line. That's because we had set the width of this equal to half the screen width. And we also have a padding. So it's obviously not fitting in. So let's do one thing. Let's go in here and let's reduce the width by a value of about 30. And similarly also the height by a value of 30. And there we see they're fitting in nicely now. We can now in the explore tab also add a property here called justify content and put in space between so that they space out nicely from each other. We'll also need to change up the font sizes now since they've become slightly smaller. So we'll change this font size to 10, leave the name size slightly bigger and change the price size also to 10. So now it's become smaller and it's fitting in nicely. Now for our star rating, we'll install another module. So we'll say npm install react native star rating. Once this is installed, let's import it here in the top in our home component. So we'll say import star rating from react native star rating. Come down here below the text, just pass in star rating. We'll disable the star rating so that it cannot be changed. It'll only be displayed. We'll say max stars is equal to five so that we have five stars displayed. And for now, we'll just give a hard coded rating of four to all of them. Let's also set the size of the star by saying star size is equal to 10 and there the star rating is also fitting in nicely. Now instead of hard coding the data, we can pass them in as props. So let's change the rating to this.props.rating. Let's change the price to this.props.price. And similarly for the name and the type. Let's pass these values in inside our explore tab. So here we can say name is equal to the cozy place. So there we can see we're getting the same component again and you can duplicate this and change up the data now. For now, I'll just leave the data as it is. So the scroll view components are now complete. We need to display the search tags here and set up the scroll animation, which I'll do in the next video. Thank you as always for watching. And if you find this useful, please like, share and subscribe.